hello friends good morning good afternoon or good evening depending on uh, which part of the world you are joining in from uh, thank you wisen team for inviting me to speak on uh, building career in cyber security so let's get started so uh, the first thing that uh, we need to address is why cyber security so why uh, why a lot of people are making an effort to move to cyber security or freshers or the newly graduates are uh, choosing the cyber security career path uh, the primary reason is the demand so there is a lot of demand uh, right now in the cyber security space uh, also with the current scenario of covid so we see a lot of people working from home connecting uh, uh, digitally using the cloud service a lot of people who were uh, used to uh for example uh, the elder people who used to go physically and uh, pay some pay household bills are now paying bills online using the e using uh, the fintech platforms and a lot of platforms so a lot of people are moving towards the digitization phase and of course with lot of data and lot of uh, transaction transaction happening online so it is prone to a lot of cyber attacks as well so the number of cyber attacks has also increased a lot and obviously to counter that there is a lot of companies all the companies are building their own cyber security task force are outsourcing a lot of cyber security services uh, so that they are able to counter any cyber attack that comes on them or their data or their customer data so there is a lot of demand in the cyber security space right now and obviously uh, one of the other strong reason is the average pay so uh, it has been observed that uh, a graduate for example a graduate who begins his career in cyber security or an experienced professional who might be for example in the range of 4 to 5 years uh, of experience uh, in cyber security earns or you can say gets paid more than compared to any other field uh in the same experience range so that's why uh, a lot of people get attracted towards the cyber security field as well also if if i uh, present some of the facts so according according to forbes by 2021 there might be 3.5 million unfilled positions in the cyber security industry so that's huge because the demand is huge there is a lot of supply of the talent which is required and if we go by the current trends there is a shortage of supply who are recruiting these people so uh, for example if you invest your time you if you invest your uh, money effort and you do a cyber security uh, course or you build uh, you take all the effort to gain all the knowledge and then you wonder okay who will recruit me or where who which are the companies that that are present in the cyber security space so if you see the screen this is by the way this is a two or a three year old image and this is how cluttered the cyber security industry is right now there's tons and tons of company and there are new companies being added every year so the demand is huge and obviously that's where if uh, anyone who is looking to start kick start a career in cyber security uh, i will say there is a lot of company which are there and which are obviously hiring right now so how do we get started so obviously getting started means uh, there can be two scenarios one is uh, if you are a fresher or uh, you freshly graduated or you might be uh, in uh, the final year of your graduation and you are looking to kick start a career in cyber security and the second scenario can be if you have already started working maybe as a software engineer or maybe as a network engineer or maybe uh, you are working uh, uh, in any other related field or say uh, maybe in a kpo in a bpo or anywhere and you are planning to change your career path to cyber security so these are the two scenarios that i will cover so let's uh, see the first scenario that uh, when you are a fresh graduate with no experience so generally uh, the jobs which are available in the market for freshers so generally uh, they are for either for testing like vapt 
team they are building a vapt team or adding new resources to vapt team uh, which is the vulnerability assessment and penetration testing basically this is a form of testing that a lot of companies do to ensure that there are no vulnerabilities or no open slots in their application or network so uh, one is in the vapt team one can be in the security operations team so security operations is 24 by 7 security operations that monitor each and every asset of a company and that security soc team has a lot of different roles of people working inside them so there's a soc team core team which is l1 l2 l3 l4 and the soc manager so l1s are usually the uh, the freshers and the new graduates who have just graduated and a lot of company hires in bulk hires in bulk for uh, the l1 analyst uh, companies like infosys wipro usg global so there are a lot of companies uh, large msp players who just recruits in bulk and bulk for especially for l1 analyst there's one more uh, the third area which is for audit and compliance so a lot of companies uh, also hire uh, graduates who might have done some course in uh, for example isms or 27001 certification uh, uh, so they hire them uh, so that they can support the auditors who are working initially shadow and then learn on the job and then finally move and start doing a lot of audit and compliance activities so what do you do uh, what do you do you need to do to get into uh, you can say to land a job in cyber security if you are a fresher obviously certifications like ceh or iso 27001 lead auditor will definitely work uh, you should look to uh, attend or go through a lot of tutorials uh, articles knowledge pieces on vapt or cyber security as a whole uh, i am sure the wise in the channel uh, you are watching they offer a lot of free uh, cyber security tutorials so gain more and more knowledge so that Uh, when you appear in the interview, uh, you are able to showcase that you understand the business, the field as well. Uh, obviously, uh, it will be a great advantage if you can learn about some of the tools which are used. For example, Nessus, Nmap. There are a lot of tools. These are just a few tools which I have named. And once you get in, then obviously you can build upon your uh, interest and the field what you are liking. So inside cyber security also. there are a lot of fields a lot of areas uh, which are there which i will cover uh, in the upcoming slide and then depending on your interest for example you might uh, like cloud security more than the network security or you might like auditing more than the testing part so then you can choose your career uh, as you grow in experience and then you can explore for the certifications like cisa cism cisp ccsp or others so uh let's go to the second scenario what happens if you're changing your career path so here also for example if you are a software engineer or if you are already in the it field and uh, you might be into maybe uh, software coding or you might be in the network team and then slowly you want to move to the cyber security team so let me cover the first scenario where you are a software engineer so there is this new uh trend or the new phenomena new framework which a lot of companies are adopting nowadays which is devsecops basically merging development operations and security so if you are a software engineer you should look for projects where devsecops is being implemented try be a part of the project own up or take some part on the security part where for example if you are coding so you can run a lot of uh static code analyzers or testers tools which are there you can start running that tools you will gain experience and then you can move to cyber security field uh, to do testing like source code reviews uh, application logic reviews and all that uh, there can be another scenario for example if you are not in the software field or the it field uh, maybe you are working in a bpo uh, you are working in a kpo or uh, you are working in any other field and you want to switch to cyber security so if uh, so if you are like 0 to 2 years experience then i would say the experience is pre uh, pretty much uh, 
like pretty much niche and uh, you can always jump as if you are a fresh and uh, it, it's uh, it you are still pretty new in the market so you can take that risk and change uh, the field automatically as well but what happens if you are more than 3 years or 4 years then you should look how to use that experience for example if you are in a bpo then you already understand uh, processes you understand how to run a team or how to run a process then you can uh, try and do a for example a iso 27001 certification and then move to audit and compliance because you understand the process is well you can move to process risk compliance team and then slowly uh, move horizontally in the other cyber security areas so what are the cyber security areas that i have been talking about so generally uh, for example a company is there let's consider abc bank okay so if there is a company called abc bank or a abc insurance firm so it will have a cyber security team which will cover all these areas so if you see the top 3 areas which are in green those are on the information security domain side so information security you will have a iso 27001 certification team uh, you will i have to follow a lot of uh, parameters that that certification laid is down if you are cloud heavy you will go for iso 270718 you will go for other bcp dr certifications and all that you have to also look for data privacy and security nowadays privacy has become more important especially since gdpr came into the picture uh, and obviously you also take care of risk compliance and audits so there is iso 31000 uh, which looks into risk assessment and treatment so all these components usually fall into the uh, information security and audits part then uh, we have the other part which is the, the security testing which is the vapt uh, the i basically uh, it involves uh, the testing and vulnerability management of your entire asset system the vulnerability management can involve 24 by 7 uh, monitoring of all the devices and continuously patching all the services uh, all the vulnerability that you find in your uh, network then is the security operations which is your shock team which monitors all your assets 24 by 7 and try to detect any negative activity in the network or in your basically in your technology ecosystem and then respond to it then you have some uh, areas of expert subject matter experts like forensics expert threat intelligence expert threat team experts who forms a part of the cyber security teams and uh, you can say help in a very focused areas where whenever you need their support what are some of the tools and uh, Uh, areas which you can read about or uh, which you can uh, if possible attend their demos or see uh, gain as much knowledge as on this topic which will help you understand the overall cyber security end to end landscape and whenever you appear for a interview or whenever you are uh, talking to uh, some company it will uh, it will really help you so on the application and network security side which is the vapt uh, there are some famous these are some of the famous tools obviously there are a lot of tools uh, which you can read about but these are some top of the mind uh, that came to me so there is nessus senmap kali linux bug suite on the static code or the uh, source code analysis side we have vera code check marks uh, fortify black duck on the soc so soc is the heart of the cyber security so if uh, people who are uh, planning to get into security operations they should understand how the security operation how a soc team is built and what are the tools and technologies and the concept or the soc components that come into the soc so these are like the same the same is security information and event management same so edr vulnerability management ueba threat intel deception forensics so all this part all these components forms a part of security operations and the fourth pillar we have the risk and the audit uh, you can you can go for iso 27001 lead auditor course to start with and then slowly go on to become a lead implementer as well once you are strong and you have a strong hold on 27001 
you can look to uh, you can look uh, to move towards maybe 22301 which is business continuity or maybe 31000 which is risk assessment and treatment so getting an understanding of all this what what are the various fields where you can get into what are the various uh, tools and technologies or areas that you need to gain knowledge on so how do you get started one obviously there are a lot of free resources available all over internet the internet is filled with information just read watch videos attend demos wizen offers a lot of uh, free videos so attend all those videos and try to gain as much as knowledge as possible there are a lot of paid courses available as well on linkedin udemy coursera nowadays uh, due to covid you see a lot of platforms coming up to which offers paid uh, trainings as well if if uh, you are if you are into your college or if you are still studying try to look for internship in cyber security field which can which can give you a real on the job experience uh, go you can also try for some life projects if you are working for example if you don't have time to take a break and go and attend a internship while studying you can take up a life project where you can uh, you can help uh, you can uh, work close live with a security team and help them with some of the project and then that way also you will gain a lot of insights on how on a day to day the cyber security team works so uh, that's it uh, friends from my side i hope uh, i hope the presentation was useful uh, all the very best uh, to all of you and i hope uh, everybody is able to enter the cyber security field and build a very long and fruitful full career thank you